We're going to go through these, um, these quizzes about, these questions about reading nutritional labels. Make sure the nutritional facts label in your tool, is in your toolbox. Look for it on almost every packaged food item in the grocery store and frequently on Nutrifax posters for fresh foods such as produce, fish, and meat. What is required on a nutritional facts label? First of all, can anybody tell me what I think is the most important bit of information on a nutritional fact label? Anybody? Serving size. Serving size. She's wonderful. She, you've been reading my notes, haven't you? There are foods out there that are, sing, well, we think are serv single servings that are actually more than one serving. Um, would you think a pot pie is two serving? No. Did you know that it's two servings? Would you eat half a pot pie? What, what else is really important on that food label? Fat content, Fat content yeah. Um, but, but calories, yeah, all that's good. But you know what I really like to look at? What I want you to do is what do those calories represent? What are the ingredients? Take a look at the ingredient list, OK? Because if those calories and fats represent good foods, things that we need in our diet that are nutrient dense, those are good calories. This is a food label like you see. And this one is a canned of condensed chicken noodle soup. It looks a lot like. Um, a lot of information to understand all at once, so let's look at the nutrition label. Here we go. In this label here, uh, one serving of chicken noodle soup is one half a cup. Sometimes this information can be very misleading if a package contains six cookies, but the serving size is two cookies. Then the package contains three servings, like we were just talking not just one. So if you eat all six cookies, you're eating three servings. Um, a word about diet products. Diet, foods labeled as diet. If they're diet, can we eat the whole package? Do we sometimes? OK. Um, just because it's labeled diet doesn't mean you get to overeat it. OK? And oftentimes, whenever a food is labeled diet, um, let's say it's a low-fat product, sometimes they bump the sugar up in it. OK, and vice versa. If it's low in sugar, sometimes they bump the fat up in it. So again, it's going back to reading the ingredients list and finding out what's in there. OK, uh, this section of the nutritional facts label contains, you know what, I'm going to breeze through this because we already covered this. OK, let's get right to, these are the four, um, four minerals and two vitamins, that, or excuse me, two minerals and two vitamins that are required, vitamin A, and vitamin C are required, and then calcium and iron. This portion of the nutritional facts label will help you to hit your target. So it'll tell you about how much total fat, saturated fat, cholesterol, sodium, total carbohydrates, and total fiber that are in, in your food. OK, let's get to the quiz here, and I need your help. Take a look at these two examples here. How many more calories are there per serving of chocolate milk compared to one serving of whole milk? Who knows the answer? 20. Don't tell me. 20. 20? Is she right? Everybody agree? The answer is 20. One cup of 2% chocolate milk has 170 calories, and one cup of whole milk has 150 calories. This means there is only 20 calories difference. Let's take a look at the next one. You make franks and beans using one can of baked beans and four beef franks, obviously not a panster meal. This would make four servings with each serving equivalent to half a cup of beans and one franc. How much fiber would you consume if you ate half the recipe, two servings yourself? There's your choices, 10, 20, 0, or 5. She right? 10. 10 is correct. Here we go. You decide to make toasty dogs. Again, another, not another great banster meal. Use the six beef franks and wrap each one in one slice of 100% whole wheat bread. Secure the bread in place with toothpicks and put each toasty dog in, in the oven until bread is toasted and brown. You decide to eat two of these toasty dogs. How much fat are you eating? How much fat in two? 
48 grams, 24 grams, 25 grams, or 50 grams? 48, let's see. 48 grams is the answer. Come up and get your prize, my dear. Each toasty dog has two servings or two, or uh, excuse me, each toasty dog has two servings or slices of bread and one beef frank. Each slice of uh, bread has one gram of fat and the beef frank has 23 grams of fat. So each toasty dog has 24 grams of fat. Since you are eating two toasty dogs, you have a total of 48 grams of fat. This actually can be made into a healthier recipe by lowering the fat, uh, uh, using low-fat hot dogs, turkey dogs, or soy hot dogs. So you can, you can reduce it still. Ugh, hot dog, yuck. Okay, you decide to make some chicken noodle soup. This is a little trickier, okay? You decide to make some chicken noodle soup with one can of condensed noodle soup and one can of water. How many calories would there be in one cup of chicken noodle soup that has been prepared with water plus 10 crackers? Here's our answer. Who answered it? Come up and get your nuts. Wrong. You can come up and get nuts anyway because you answered. Come on. Yeah, I told you it was a trick question. 180, okay? Now this is why. Add 60 calories for one cup of soup plus 120 calories for two servings of crackers. Notice on the label that what, just so you know, I got this one wrong myself the first time. Um, notice on the label that one serving of crackers is equal to five crackers. So we have to double the amount for the nutritional information. Remember that one serving of soup is one half cup of condensed soup. So if you prepare the soup with an equal amount of water, you would then, um, you would then one cup of prepared soup becomes one serving. So it changes it. I, I got it wrong the first time too. It's a tricky question. 